Hey guys, Professor Bill of Comic Book University and Wonder Woman, issue number 53. Yeah, what you see on the front cover, spoilers. <laughs> I don't like it when they don't represent what happened. Like if they were to suddenly show them just sitting down playing cards or something like that. It's like, they're not playing cards in the freaking book. Why do you have them sitting down playing cards? I don't get it. But I also don't like it when they actually give the spoil of the whole freaking ending. But, um, whatevs, whatevs. Um... And this was uh this was a pretty fun comic book. Let's get right into who did this. Steve Orlando is the writing. Aiko did the pencils. Steve Lorenzo, or excuse me, David Lorenzo. I don't know where he got Steve from. Did the ink. The uh, um, the artist for page eight through thirteen was Hugo Petrus. The colors for the whole thing was Romulo Foliaro Jr. And uh, letters Saida Temafonte. Uh, oh, David Yard did the cover and. Jenny Frisson did the variant cover. So we get to see um, there's a, there's an interesting fight in the beginning. Actually, the whole thing was uh, was a was a battle up until they face straight up with uh, Tezcatlipoca, and that happens just a couple pages in. I like Wonder Woman's battle chant or like the not a chant. What was it like a a little speech before she jumps headlong into the the battle with these uh these monsters that are going to lead right up to the, the first appearance of Tezcatlipoca which you know if you read those 10 issues of Aztec back in uh I think that was 1990 if I remember correctly go check out 10 things about Aztec explained in a minute it's a little longer than a minute but you get it um and also the the Justice League comic books where he actually loses his vision and has to do the best he can to to wound Tezcatlipoca, like he essentially failed in his mission. Uh, that was sad. I was hoping to see a whole lot more out of Aztec because he was really cool, but whatever. Um, Una was what he was. Uh, Nalia is just as cool, and at least they're they're moving on with her being pretty powerful in here. Unfortunately, Orlando didn't do a whole lot with her at all in this. There was a lot of uh, conversation and she is also the one who tried to find just the right arrow to shoot the the at the from the bow of Ra at Tezcatlipoca. Um, that was interesting. I liked it to a degree. I just wish I could have seen a lot more out of her. There was a, a joke that Artemis made about her very sharp headdress and it's like come on man. Come on. I was really hoping to see a lot more. Like, Aztec is a ridiculously powerful... I know a lot of people are thinking, uh, you know, Artemis and Wonder Woman and then Aztec. Like, what's Aztec going to do with them? Aztec can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with either of these two, okay? According to her power set, she could go toe-to-toe -to -toe with both of these, uh, these, these other two, uh, Amazonian and former Amazonian. So, yeah, <laughs> I, I don't, I don't want to hear any nonsense about her not being up to snuff. Uh, I did like a lot of what was said in here, like the the the, the conversations in this battle against Tezcatlipoca was fantastic. I liked the most of the results. I liked, you know, what happened before she disappeared. That was really impressive, the conversation there. The idea that she turned completely dark before she disappeared. The Again, the art in this. I mean, Aiko, dude. <laughs> but just about everything in this was great, but... Somehow the ending just seemed a little eh, inconsequential, and I was hoping for more. Like, that's a shame. Like, if you're going to do something with the whole Tezcatlipoca concept, then I think that more than three issues would have been required for it. I am hoping that, uh, like, uh, it, it looks like Orlando's going to continue for a little while. I don't remember exactly when. Um, oh, for crying out loud, what is her name? G. Willow Wilson is taking over Wonder Woman. And I don't even know for how long she's doing that for. But right now, I don't know how long Orlando is on this story. And, um, I, dude, I just feel like this was really even only two issues. Because I know next issue this is going to continue. But this was only part two of the enemy of both sides. I just feel like a lot more should have happened. I feel like this should have been an epic event. This shouldn't have just been, my helmet buzzed and I came to get you. You know, could you come and help me out to, you know, judo flip this god? No. I feel like this should have been a lot more. This should have been an epic event style uh, story, not just uh, encapsulated in two issues of Wonder Woman. I feel like it should have gotten a lot more, but mainly just because 
of the history of Aztec very specifically. She's the one I was paying the most attention to on this, but I wound up developing a, a greater appreciation of Artemis. You know what I'm saying? Because of her her moments in here. And I get a feeling I'm only going to enjoy her story more in the next issue. But anyway, it was a really good story that I just felt deserved a more epic uh, presence. This really could have been, a, a, at the very least, a mini event. You know what I'm saying? Just, oh, well, whatever. All right, guys. Professor Bell, Comic Book University. Class dismissed.